Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to reset any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Now, resetting a Fire Stick or Fire TV device is actually one of the best ways, in my opinion, to improve device performance and boost speeds. If for some reason your Fire Stick is moving slow, you're having struggles with playback, or you just don't have any storage left on your device, then resetting it to factory default settings is probably your best bet. Now, an important disclaimer is if you do reset to default settings, you will lose your installed applications. So just a quick disclaimer there, but I will show you how to quickly install the best apps uh, using Downloader and another tool, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. In this example, I'm using an Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max, but this process will work on any variation of the Amazon Fire Stick 4K or Fire TV device. All right, guys, so the first step to resetting any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV is from the home screen, hover over the settings icon here on the right, and then you're gonna scroll down to My Fire TV. So once you do that, scroll down and you will see an option for reset to factory defaults. Again, before clicking this, I would highly suggest that you note what applications you want to install as you will lose these by resetting to factory default. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And again, click reset. And you'll see here we're going to wait a few seconds while the device says resetting your Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max to factory defaults. And now you're just going to wait a few seconds or maybe a minute, depending on how much is needed to remove from your Fire Stick. All right, you'll see this message. Your Fire TV Stick 4K Max is powering off. And you'll see it starts to reboot. So you'll see it says resetting your Fire TV. Please do not unplug the power cable during the update. So guys, you're just gonna have to have a little bit of patience here while things do reboot. All right, so the Fire TV logo is starting to reboot here. That's a good sign. All right, so after a bit here, you should see this message here that says searching for your remote. And so once you see this message, it guides you to click the home button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the home button. And now it guides you to click the play button. So I'm going to click the play button to start. Here you're going to choose your language. I'm going to click English. And here is where we can set up our Fire Stick. So you can either do this with our remote or you can set up with the Fire TV app. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set up with my remote. So I'm going to click that option. And you'll see here now we do need to choose our Wi-Fi network so I'm gonna go ahead and just click my Wi-Fi network and then fast forward here to the next step. All right, so once I've entered my Wi-Fi password, I'm gonna wait a few seconds while it's connecting to my Wi-Fi and it says connection successful. So now you'll see it's checking for updates and it will download the latest software if that is applicable for your device. So it says finishing updates. All right, and here it prompts me to sign in with my Amazon account. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sign in here and click have an account. And here it gives you two options. You can either scan your QR code if you have the Amazon mobile app, or I can go ahead and use another device to sign in. I'm gonna go ahead and do that here and then skip to the next step once I am signed in with my Amazon account. All right, after I've registered, it's gonna give me a successfully registered message. And then it says, welcome. So as you'll see here, this Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max will now be registered to your account. So I'm gonna click continue. I'm gonna click yes if you get this message. And you can restore your Fire TV if you want to. I'm actually gonna skip that as I'm just gonna show you how to quickly get your applications back. So I'm gonna click skip. And here it's gonna prepare our remote for setup. All right, so click next. And then I'm gonna click the up and down buttons on my remote until I start to hear music. And then once you start hearing something, I'm gonna click yes. And it says your Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. Click okay. And just wait a few seconds while it starts optimizing your screen. A lot of times you're gonna get these upsells from Amazon. 
And guys, I would always just click no thanks. And again, same for the streaming services. I'm going to click no thanks. And again, you can enable parent parental controls if you choose to do so. I'm going to hit no parental controls. And then you're going to get this welcome message. Click got it. And here you can find your different accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and click my Amazon account that I registered this with. And as you'll see, here we go. I've successfully reset my Amazon Fire Stick, and now I can start to stream and install other applications. All right, guys, to quickly get back your favorite apps and tools, I'm going to show you how to do that quick. So from the home screen, hover over Find, and then click Search. And we're going to install the Downloader app. So you'll see it pops up. I was going to type in Downloader, but it popped up before I finished typing, so click Downloader. Click the orange icon for downloader under apps and games. Wait a few seconds here. And then click download. And then wait a few seconds for downloader to install. Click OK. All right, and once the downloader app has installed before opening, since we reset our Fire Stick, there's a few settings we now need to change. So click the Home button, and I'm going to scroll over and find the Settings icon here. And I'm going to click My Fire TV. I'm going to click About. And I'm going to click Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whatever this says here until you see the following message. No need, you are already a developer. Once you see that message, click Back. Click Developer Options, click Install Unknown Apps, click Downloader, and you'll see we have now turned on Installation of Unknown Apps for Downloader. So I'm going to click the Home button, and while I'm hovered over Home, I'm going to scroll down and find Downloader under Recently Used Apps. Click that to launch it. Click Allow, click OK, and you have now installed the Downloader app. So after you've installed the Downloader app, click the search box and enter the following code, 298344, double check that and click go. And you're now gonna be redirected to the IPTV Wire Quick Links page. And guys, this is the page where you can quickly install the dozens of the best streaming apps and tools if you do decide to reset your Fire Stick or Fire TV. You can simply come to this page and install dozens of great applications. So guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up and hit this icon on the top right with the three lines. I'm gonna click Add Current Page to Favorites, click Save, and now our Quick Links page is saved in your favorites. So guys, scroll down here and you'll see all the different types of apps you can install on your newly refreshed Fire Stick, whether it's live TV players, video players, streaming apps and tools, uh, we have it all here in our Quick Links page. So that's it, guys. That is not only how you reset your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV, but also after doing so, this is how you can quickly install the best apps and tools with one click. Again, this is Bodie. I appreciate you watching this video. Hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.